So why did Mary Magdalene come to be taken by the Dominicans as uh, one of their patronesses? Uh, well, that's an interesting historical story. Mary Magdalene was a very popular saint in the medieval period. Uh, but the Dominicans had a very special place uh, because in the 13th century, what was believed to be the relics of Mary Magdalene were uh, entrusted to the care of the Dominican order in southern France uh, near Mar Marseille. So in this, uh, there was a, a church dedicated to Saint Maximin, uh, who was uh, supposed to be one of the 72 disciples of Jesus, who with Mary Magdalene came to Marseille uh, after the death of Jesus, after the persecutions in Jerusalem arose, uh, in order to escape those persecutions. According to the story, Mary Magdalene then became sort of a hermit living in uh, a cave in the mountains outside of Marseille and was buried at the foot of this mountain and uh, that a little church then was built over her tomb. In the 13th century, these relics uh, were, there was an excavation done at the site of this church and they found uh, a sarcophagus. In fact, there's sarcophagi there in that church today dating from the 4th century. We know that there were monks in the 5th century who were going to this cave in, uh, on this mountain near Marseille where they uh, venerated Mary Magdalene and were living a, a life of prayer, sort of as hermits. Later this was done by the Benedictines and in the 13th century it was entrusted to the Dominicans. So that sort of, be, uh, given the importance of Mary Magdalene in the medieval imagination, this was an, a great privilege for the Dominican order. There's another reason, though, why Dominicans have always had a devotion to Mary Magdalene, and that is she was the first preacher of the resurrection, the apostle to the apostles, sent by Christ to announce the resurrection, as we read in uh, the end of John's Gospel. And uh, there are a lot of elements of the Dominican life that one can also find in the life of Mary Magdalene and the spirituality, you might say, of Mary Magdalene that you find in the Gospels. So. Mary Magdalene was a sinner. She was a sinner who was converted by Christ. She was a sinner converted by Christ who had a great love for Christ, as we see when she goes to seek out his body at the tomb. And she was then sent to preach. And at the end of her life, according to this legend, she became a contemplative and was really living a kind of monastic life of prayer of that sort of interior longing and union, total devotion to a life of prayer to be with God, to be with her beloved. This also is exactly what we as Dominicans understand our life to, to be all about. We're sinners. We're sinners who are saved by the grace of God and who are entrusted with a mission as sinners to nonetheless go out and proclaim uh, the gospel message. Not only that, a very early part of the Dominican spirituality has been that we are saved by our preaching. Our preaching is a, is a form of penance. It's a religious observance that we do for the remission of our sins. So we don't go out preaching as if we are already the saints that the world needs to adore. No, we go out preaching as those who we ourselves have received the gospel message and have been converted by it. And in order to share the grace of that conversion, to share the love of our beloved, who is the Lord, uh, that is the spirit of the Dominican order. And the early Dominicans, of course, found a great resonance with Mary Magdalene in that.